Right, hi, I'm Gary Hammond, I'm one of the junior doctors at Harrogate Hospital with uh, ten and a half years of working in the NHS. Trying to summarise the dispute uh, over the contracts is actually quite difficult. Um, for the last couple of years, the BMA and the government uh, via NHS employers have been trying to update the contract uh, to bring it more in line with a contract that was previously designed for the 1990s uh, over safeguarding and hours fears. Um, there were several stalling parts and this all kicked off back in uh, October, November last year. Um, the main reason we're out striking today is that um, negotiations have failed. Uh, the government haven't uh, brought a lot to the table and needed uh, an independent adjudicator, ACAS, to actually get back round the table and avert the strikes that were due to happen in December. The new contract was actually uh, released as a formal document last week and there are still many uh, points that we are unhappy with. Uh, we're very concerned about safety. Uh, the new contract has taken away many of the safeguarding uh, parts involving uh, financial penalties to trusts that uh, made sure they kept to the hours and the monitoring and reporting part of it. They've replaced it with something called a guardian, which is uh, currently exists only as a very woolly term. Uh, and this guardian is actually going to be somebody working in the hospital who's likely to be a supervisor of the junior doctors. Uh, the rest of the contract, the most standout point will actually be that the contract in its own words says that this contract may disproportionately discriminate against women, uh, but this apparently is a proportionate means to a legitimate aim, uh, which is something we're all very shocked and disgusted by. Uh, we all know going into medicine that uh, work-life balance can be difficult and we all accept we may miss kids' birthdays and so on uh, during our training. This new contract is going to make uh, having a family and working as a doctor almost impossible. Before this started, our main concerns were gaps on rotors. Nearly every rotor I've worked on for the last five years has had one or two people missing from it, which makes it harder to deliver a service. It makes us tireder. It means that we're constantly struggling to get locums in to fill gaps at the last minute, which is more expensive than hiring more people at a slightly higher wage. This contract is going to disincentivise people to stay in the NHS and further make these rotor gaps more of a problem. Uh, I've never felt so low about the future of the NHS and the safety of my patients.